podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Yeah, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. Check it, man. Check it, check it, check it. This your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad will walk on. Man, listen there, man. I'm in Houston, Texas, man. I'm out here, man. I'm, hey, listen, man. If you ever heard of Cloverland, if you ever heard of the Botany Boys, man. If you are, And listen, if you really listen to music. See, I'm an I'm old, old nigga. UGK for life type nigga. I, I listen to them songs, man. Yeah. I'm here with Will Lean, y'all. Stop yeah. playing, man. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? What's up, world? Thank you for coming on Boss Talk 101. Yeah. What, what, hey. a, what listen, what a bosses talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss Talk. <laughs> Big talk, boss talk. Mm, yeah. Man, so man, we, I know already you don't even know what to expect dealing with boss talk hey. because he ain't he ain't really just never tapped in. It. But I'm gonna I'm gonna let Miss Jamaica talk to you for a second. She wanna know everything about you. Okay. Tell Let's me go. everything. Where you from, how you Let's were go. raised, your mama, daddy, kids, brother, sister, <laughs> nephew, grandma, you name it. Let's get I it. I need everything. Let's get it. So you Houston raised? Houston raised. What part? Sunny side. What part? I don't know oh. nothing, okay? Hey, you hey, gotta hey. tell me what's the sunny side. Hey, sunny side garden and south side. Okay, so South outside. Houston, Texas, yeah. So, you know, the only part I ever hear about is third ward, fifth ward, just the wards. Oh, Where yeah. is that compared to the wards? Um, the same, you know, mm. the same, you know, residential um, neighborhoods, you know. It's not bad. So, I mean, hey, everywhere bad. Mm. You know, Roof Oaks. Okay. It bad. Can, it can bad. get bad. You Real know, bad. Yeah, you know, um, Houston, you know, people... Tend to see like okay, it's a chill back city, which it is. But anything that happened anywhere from River Oaks, Third Ward, Fifth Ward, a um, Katy, Galleria area, you know, mm. it go down. Okay, so you have brothers and sisters. Yeah, I have two sisters. You the young, so you baby boy. Yeah, I you... have two other sisters. Yeah. Okay, so you spoiled rotten growing up. <laughs> now I'm like the little big brother. Little big brother. Yeah, I got them spoiled. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, mom and dad in the house? Uh, mom, my dad passed away back in uh, 04. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, I'm talking when you were growing up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mom and dad in the house. Mom and dad in the house, which, yeah. you know, that's rare, but yeah. that's a blessing because mm -hmm. um, what did you learn from your dad growing up? Did he impart any of that knowledge to you? Oh, yeah, you know, the um, same knowledge I get my boys. Which is? We don't lie. We tell the truth. At all we costs, no matter what. Costs. Yeah, he won't put his hands on me. Mm. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah. But you know, as kids, sometimes it's like one thing I learned about kids, and this is from a mom, because y'all dads is something else. Y'all can say something to your kids, and he's like, your kids get it. They straighten up right away. Y'all don't have to whoop them. Y'all don't have to do nothing. Is there something about y'all voices or y'all whatever? Yeah. But a mom could talk 10 million times, and that child ain't going to do the same, do right. Uh yeah, but I think my boys most scared of their mom. <laughs> really? Yeah. They, Why? Uh, hey, I don't know. She just um, yeah. They don't mm -mm. play with them. Hey, I'm, I'm telling you, they don't play with them. You know. No, cause it, let me tell you, I learned this cause I was blessed to have um bonus kids before I had gave birth to my kids, right? Mm -hmm. And one thing growing up, I used to hate with my parents or my mom was when your parents tell you. Because I said so. You said, but mommy, why? Because I said so. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I think I'm grown. Like, just explain it to me and I can, you know, rationalize stuff. Yeah. Till I met my bonus daughter and I would sit her down and try to explain stuff and explain stuff. And I was like, okay, I, I'm not getting nowhere with this. I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> she made me go to that because mommy said so. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Period. That's so you had a blessing that you were able to listen to your dad and understand. Uh -huh, yeah, and um, that was a big thing. You know, respect in the household, you know, with your mom and your dad. And, um, you know, since my dad, he was, it was like my mom, she was sweet. She really ain't know how to whoop the kids. So, you know, she'll, mm. call, she'll call my dad at the club, at his club, and be like, George, you need to come whoop these kids. <laughs> He'd be like, well... Goddamn, baby, they ain't did shit to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. 
that part, you know. So, That's real. Yeah, so um, it was cool. It was cool. So he said he had a club. What kind of club he had? And was it his club? Yeah, like him and the um, partner had like a little juke joint. Cause my, my dad, he was in music. Mm -hmm. You know, he um, came up with a group back in the sixties. Like I think in sixty seven, they went platinum. Archie Bell and the Drills, they had a oh, okay. his song called Tighten Up. Ooh, I yeah. gotta look it up. Yeah. Yeah. Can we find it if you look it up? Yeah, you can find it, y'all. Yeah. Okay. That's how um, my mom and my dad met mm -hmm. because they had headlined Apollo for like a week straight. My mom from Jersey. Oh, and she was in music too. No, it's like my um, my sister be talking about my mom was a groupie. <laughs> <laughs> tighten up, better tighten up. Um, how did it go? Tight. Um, Houston, Texas, and that's why I'm tight enough. It was a dance and everything. Now I went platinum. Yeah. That's hard. So your mama was a groupie and she ended up getting her prize. No, I was really was her older sister, my auntie was. That was a groupie right there. That was dating the lead singer. Then my mom and my dad met and, you know, she finished her school in the TSU. Okay, that's dope. Yeah, so, um, you know, and, you know, my mom and people, they from Jersey, so she used to make sure, like, Every summer, we had to go down there for two weeks, you know, East Orange, New Jersey, so, uh, yeah. So you was exposed to the music early, at early, an early age? Early age. My dad had a studio. My dad had a studio in the 70s um, in the first apartments, like three-story apartments that they had in mm -hmm. Houston. He had, a, like, a the the real, the big red and everything, and it's, yeah, so... You know, and uh, that's that's what helped us a lot, even with uh with screw. You know, we we get there, you know, so as it's going through and um on the legal side of the music when we was like, you know, just having fun with it, but we was like, Well, we gonna go on and do it seriously. So he helped us out a lot, you know, and like getting our name DBA and um publishing, you know, back when you know, he had hurdles. Well, people wouldn't give you that information because you know information is key, you know. So mm -hmm. yeah, it helped us a lot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So when did you Okay as a kid growing up Did you want to branch off You already knew I was going to be in music um, Man every little kid played in a band You know I got the keyboards for Christmas You know but Can you sing nah. Uh uh I can't okay. sing You know I probably can hold a note home But nah I ain't no singer Let me, let me go and get in here You know no. I, I do the music part yeah. You know what I'm saying I'm a real stomp down music dude You yeah. are babe Thank you, baby. I just want to take that and embrace it. Uh, yeah, I should have. I thought about that tighten up on your back. Yeah, I was looking yeah, at that no, one. No, not that one. Not but, that one. But then it was another tighten up before another that. So they yeah. bit that tighten up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they bit y'all boys. Y'all stuff, man. <laughs> like everybody be asking me, like, man, why y'all want me to do that? Um, the tighten up. The tighten up. Yeah. You know, let me, let me ask you something, because uh, I mean, you, you know, you dealt with how did you and the, the, the Cloverland, uh, the Clover G's and all this, the, the, that the whole history of the flip, all this stuff. We better get into that. Yep. The botany boys, you know. So tell me just how did y'all even come together to even, you know, meet and okay. grow cool. this bond, uh, you know, like um, me and c -Note. Oh, man. c -Note. You know, like, Yeah. So, you know, we the same age, man. We like been best friends since elementary, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing him since first grade. Wow. How, how, yeah, he, so, he good dude? Yeah, yeah, good dude, good dude, good dude. Stand-up dude, you know? So, um, man, we grew up. Like, we grew up in Cloverland. We got Cloverland Park, you know? We yeah. stayed at the park on the summer. I was on the swim team, Cloverland swim team. And Botany is a street in Cloverland. Okay. You know, and uh, that's where we, you know, made our bones. And that's where we uh, got our name from. Yeah. So, you know, it wasn't the music. Like, we was already Botany boys before the music. You know, because we was kids at the time. We was kids. I'm talking about 15 and 16 years old, like, having things that the grown folks having. We weren't doing nothing different than the other dudes in the city was doing. We were just the youngest ones doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so y'all basically, y'all all came together and started enjoying the movement of the music? No, nah, no. Nah, it wasn't the music. What was it? It was the hustling. Man, that's it, boy. That'll do it every time, won't it? Yeah, like that's biting their big shots. You know what I'm saying? The homie in the, in the hood gave us that name because biting it, that's the street we was on. And we was young dudes having everything these older dudes had. Wow. So big shots, you know. So um, biting the big shots. But then when we transitioned to the music, biting the boys big shot records. You know but what, what made y'all transition to the music? Because we was already on the corner, like, man, rapping and, you know, doing that. And, 
And once we met Screw, okay, we going to Screw House and uh, record on the tapes. You know, this was boy like he, uh, everybody. You know, like three four action. A lot of people don't talk about three four action. That's popping, and that was like. Uh, the foundation with Screw started with when he was doing his, okay. his mixes, you know. And then that's when um when he moved with his dad on mm. uh, Broadway Square. That's when we um met Screw. Yeah. And um we just go over there. He used to like I man, I'm I'm gonna show you some old pictures, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like so that's we go by Screw house when he's staying with his old man and um make our dubs. So one day I wasn't there, but um, DJ Chill had left his like chrome fader. Yeah. And they put on a beat and see, you know, don't start rapping on it. Man. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's how it started. You know, then Pat was coming and he was rapping on his tapes. And um, that's just how it started. It's Pat, fun. Pat, Pat. Yeah. Like, and that was just like, like a hobby because you can go nowhere and rap. And take it straight out and put it in your car and listen to yourself. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's how it started. That's how it started. And and so did you ever think it would become as big as it became? It, because y'all were just having fun as kids. And this thing blew up in a way to where I know y'all didn't know nothing about the business. No, no, not really. Because you got to think about it. Even when we started, we were still in the streets. You know, so like I say, it was a hobby, but we looking at just rap money and street money, and it can't come close to the street money. So we we steady did the rap, you know what I'm saying? So, but we steady was in the in the streets. So, you know, tip for tap. 1994, 93? Now, we screw like 1991, just. That's when y'all was doing it. Yeah, yeah, 1991, just rapping on tape. Why do you think I said 1994, 1993? Cause you know, my, I'm an old nigga, so yeah, why do you think I said that? But 94, 93 with the... Um, no, nah, it was just the fact of yeah. how, you know, when you look at 95, the the because the, really, when you looked at Too Hard to Swallow and Super Tight with yeah. UGK, Riding Dirty was totally different to me. Yeah. And I, I, yeah. I think, of, see where I'm coming from? Yeah. So it was influenced because you start hearing these... Uh, your botany boys and all this and I, and I just want to get into that part about how you and UGK like how did you and Bun them how did y'all even start to link about the music as well yeah. Why, how come you were shouting y'all out in this damn uh, uh, on this song the, the the you know you got you got uh, diamonds up against that wood you got all these songs one day on here but you hearing this botany boys talk you hearing this screw sound let's go because you you have botany boys out there we down to the hottest thing right here, underground, is, is dealing with Screw. Okay. You know, the first group about to screw up thick to drop our album. We dropped the album before Screw. That's why we got two scrolls, two songs on three in the morning. Cloverland and Thought Them Ways. Wow. See, them album was already out. That our um, first EP was Smoking and Leaning. Wow. The first song we ever recorded in the real studio was Smoking and Leaning. Wow. 94. Okay. See? You talking about Smoking, Leaning. Yeah, yeah. 2022, Waikisha, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in 30 years. That's you know? 30 years. Yeah. You know, so. So y'all were that hard that, it, that's why Pimp C were acknowledging it like that yeah. and bun them. Yeah, so in every album we dropped, we had bun be on it. Every one of them. Yeah, everybody in the album. They, so it really family. Yeah, that was fam right there. So. What, when you heard, like, cause y'all already, you knew when you heard, when you heard that boy, when he was shouting y'all out like that, yeah. when Pimp was shouting y'all out like that, y'all kind of knew it may be like that. Y'all did, y'all, it was all, cause y'all did them the same way or what? Yeah, like, we know everybody, man, we grew up in pocket full of stones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jamming something good, like, we, that's weird on the block jamming. But when they did that song, when he hollering at C Note, and he was in the studio with him. Oh, okay. That's what it, that's C Note talking on the beginning of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know how, how how was you? And I know you knew Pimp. You know, I'm a big Pimp fan. Yeah. Like, how was it working with Pimp C? Man, it was like working with your partner. Just kicking it. Just kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Like Pimp was a real one. Like, yeah, 
Give me a pimp story. I do this all the time to mm-hmm. niggas on the bank. Yes. I tell KL, I told uh, uh, Bobo, Steve B. Low, uh, any nigga come in, he's a Leo. Give me a pimp no, story. No, you got, right. probably got a lot right. of pimp stories. Oh, he got a want, lot. We want the one that you don't and tell run all the time. Run his, I ask everybody. I'm going to tell you a pimp story right up, man. We had a... Um, um, BG Gator, that see no first cousin, R.I.P. R.I.P.? Yeah, that's his, uh, that see no uncle. Son. Okay. And like, um, me, Gator, and my partner Head, and his little brother Shane, our birthdays in, the, in May. Okay. Like the end of May. Mm-hmm. Two on the 26th, mine on the 28th, and Head and, and Shane on the 30th. So his okay. old man used to throw his parties. Yeah, yeah. So, this particular year, Pimp, uh, the little homie Yuck My Five on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come to the party. Screw at the party. He DJing. And when you get in this party, what number the homies allowed? The only females was there is if you was family. Mm. Oh, damn. And when you come through this door, you get a ticket. Mm. You ain't know what this ticket was for. Mm. Like people who watching this interview, they gonna, they understand, they know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I'm <laughs> and with this ticket, you got these females in there. You present that ticket, you know, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's uh-huh. the golden ticket, boom. Yeah. Yeah, man, so that blew them boys' mind. I used to see- Pimp team the organization, huh? Man, like, hey, when um, I used to see Young Mind, he always be like, well, lean, man, that party, man, <laughs> that party. So, yeah, so, um, hey, that was- That was, that was, that, that that's was, epic. That's one for the record books, man. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, man. Man, so y'all, y'all, the party, y'all had them tickets. Yeah, them tickets, man. And the, I ain't gonna lie, man, man. But how you know which ticket to give to which girl? Nah, it's, it's about 40 of them running around there, so. <laughs> I was just curious. I'm just saying, like, get your ticket out. Hey, <laughs> get that, they, they ain't holler at you unless you got a ticket. You know? Damn, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, like, like, that's crazy. So, did you guys ever, like, did you and Pimp, y'all, y'all was all partner, did you ever ride around just to sit here? Yeah, up? man. We, like I said, hang oh, out. Man. Yeah, man, we jump in the bourbon, man, and, you know, hit some corners, you know, blaze something. Like I say, um, that's uh, on the um, Riding Dirty album cover. Yeah. That C-Note Suburban. Okay, okay. And, and that's Big Dead. So, like, when you open it up in the step side truck, you see the dudes on the back of the truck. Yeah, yeah. Us, that's us. Damn. Yeah, and we shot. That's history for you niggas, man. Yeah, shot that uh, in front of School House. In front of School House. Yeah, on the... Um, the party for three in the morning, the album release party for three in the morning. Wow, that's yeah. hard, man. And now it was like coincidence. Like, you know, they happened to be with uh what's that with who they were signed with at the time. Um with Jive. Jive. Yeah. And yeah, they uh came with the photographers and uh ended up shooting their album cover. Right. Wow. That's crazy, man. So let me talk about DJ Screw, man. DJ Screw, man, was hey man, he changed you know, Pimp C said, man, DJ Screw the king of the South. Oh, yeah. When he's anything else said, you need to shut your fucking mouth. Mm. Yeah. When you heard <laughs> you heard him say that. Yeah, you can honestly say that because you know, man, Screw, Screw was humble though. Like, man, I'm gonna tell you, Screw was so humble, and he was just a real person, man. If Screw would have set a blank contract in front of me, I'd have signed it. Mm. You know, because you knew he wasn't gonna do nothing wrong. Yeah, you know, he yeah. respect. It's just a good dude. Yeah. It's nothing. I'm talking about you. If somebody say they hating on school, man, they just hating. They just he, hating. He ain't never hate bone in his body. And, and they wow. used to just people used to just come over there. And he, how did he come up with that? That was something he was doing. That's something he came up with. To screw the music down. Yeah, to screw the music down. That was something. Like a lot of people can answer that question for him, but that's a question that really can't be answered because he's not here to to answer. It. So he you never did that. Never was asked how why he done it. I mean, he probably did it in the in an interview. He probably spoke on it a little bit. I can't. I don't know. Can't remember. No, you know, you know, I gotta go research. Like, why? What made yeah. him do it? You know. You know and um, yeah, and it was cool for us because now when we freestyling, we free we ain't freestyling on tempo. The beat slowed down, so now you can think about what you're saying. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you know, helping us out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, and that's that's what that was the. 
you know, the way he mixed his songs, man, that it was crazy. You know, the way he mixed the yeah. music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he mixed the hell out of it. Yeah, you know, and uh, chopping it and bringing it back, you know. Yeah, you know, that's why I say uh, Screw ain't, he ain't had no competition because he was the only one doing it. You can't have no competition if you ain't have no competitors, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you definitely didn't he didn't have no competitors, but then yeah. you start seeing like when I seen Michael Watts, I seen I, to me I thought about it as a I'm a, I'm from the outside looking yeah. in. I thought about it as a branch off, like yeah, like you know that's that's with anything you know what yeah I'm like you know um, Watts you know he pay homage you know what I'm yeah saying? like they they know what they what a what a, a star came who, who created it you know they pay homage man and that's with anything man you see somebody doing something man. That's being a fan of it, anything. You'll want to, you know, try that too. You know what I'm saying? You'll get into it too. So, you know, I don't look at it like somebody biting us. No, no, no. He was showing, I, he pay homage. Yeah, yeah, that's how I look at it. You but know? tell me about, like, 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 what DJ Screw, what was uh, something that, that you remember about him most that you think about when you think about, go, you know, like he not here with his RIP to uh, DJ Screw and his birthday was just, uh, but tell me some things that you think about. You know, when you think about him, when you reminisce. Like, um, you know, <clears throat> I know he, you know, he up in there and he can see what's going on. Already. He was here just to see the impact that he had, that he got on the world. Not just Texas, not just the country, but I'm saying the world. You know, I'll be at this, I'll be at the shop a lot. Yeah. And you have people come there like, people go to Graceland. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like every oh look, I go to the shop like this. This 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 became a ritual. Like, and I see all of the mail that's going out. You know, all the orders from the website. Yeah, yeah. That um, Bub got to take home take and go home. to the post office the next day. And I come in there and say, "Hey, what country are we going to today?" You know what I'm saying? That's how hard it is. Yeah, every day he go. Oh shit! Oh Australia, Ghana. UK, they love the, they yep. love Screw, yeah, and that's all day long, man. And you you got you know Screw um, on the 16th, you know his death date. The other yeah. day he been gone 22 years. 22 years, man. Mm -hmm. That's that's why that's I wanted to get you time. in here, man, and just talk about yeah, it, man. And, and you have you have kids that coming there like that's 10 and 12 and 14. They wasn't even Don't alive even with, with Screw, and they'll try to tell you the history, and they'll know a little, you wow. know, enough to be dangerous. Yeah, you know, and they, because they. Moms, dad, big sisters, Told brothers, stories. uncles, you know what I'm saying? Told like, them the story. Yeah, you know, so it's it's a beautiful thing. What what about I think Travis Scott had a rights to the movie or if Yeah, that yeah, that's something they um, That's something that they just announced. How yeah. do you, what do you think about that? That's uh you know, it's screw sister, screw brother, you know. Okay. So um you know, so I they went through the proper channel. Okay. You know, do you so think that, it's gonna be a, a good look? Mm, it, we'll see. It better be. It better be. It gotta be. They yeah. got to come with it. Got to come with it. You know, I got faith. You got faith. Yeah. You can't wait to see it or what? Yeah. You know, I think they probably gonna call us. You know, the interview. You, know? you gonna have to. Yeah. So the, you yeah. want the real? Yeah. I call. Hey, listen, we'll lean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga. If I want the real, I'ma yeah. call the nigga who was who were coming through them doors. Yep. And Screw gave me that name. No. Yeah. Tell me something. How, how the hell? What made him give you a name? My name Will. So he say, I, I kept a cup. And they like, <laughs> boy, you willing, you willing. And they just stuck with it. Like, it stuck with me, y'all. So he yeah, named see, you that. And that's so funny because when I think about um, lean, no. I think about the drink. Yeah. Or I think about, I'm like, and I'm silly, okay? Yeah. I think you're going to walk in here as lean. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this, this, here we go. That's what I'm married to, right? I'm telling you, I'm silly. <laughs> yeah. But I knew, because I'm a Texas nigga, that yeah. we're lean. I knew exactly what was going on, but I didn't know that DJ Screw gave yeah. you that name. I come with that car, hey, boy, you gone lean. You real lean. It, <laughs> it just stuck, you know what I'm It saying? stuck. It just stuck, yeah. Man, you know, uh, I, I, like I said, when I think about you and what the the influence, look, Kiki was coming over there. Yeah, Kiki Ke was over there. He was coming over there, yeah. Was he coming... Y'all were coming before him or the same time or how was how he, that? He came a little later than us. So he came a little later he than y'all. He came a little later than us, but he was there. Well, who, well, who was there when y'all came? with ESG there? Who was there uh, originally? Corey. Okay. Corey Blunt and Pat. Okay. 
Biden and boy, like, I don't know. Leave the ones that don't rap, you know what I'm Yeah, just over there. And who I said before, three, four action. Three, four action. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, school um, brother, you know, LD, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, yeah. That's what it was, DJ Chill. You know, but like, but you had different dudes from different hoods um, start um, coming, doing, yeah. doing they tapes, you know, Air Ward, Heim Clark. You know, so I went side, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, screw, you know, we were dealing with a lot of people, you know, and yeah. everybody flowed on their taste. Even people that don't even rap to the day, everybody, that was the thing. You want to see every, see a tape, a big percentage of the tape was like a milestone. Yeah. And somebody, it might be a birthday or graduation or I just got out, I'm about to go to jail, you know what I'm saying? Something like that, you know, and, um, and most of the tapes was uh, personal tapes. Wow, that you know, you, you, people don't realize what's going on down here in Texas. What's really going down? Yeah. And when, when you, I, I look at y'all, man, and I hear Botany Boys, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I hear Clover, and I, and I think about little Flip. He came, what did he come? He came after y'all was over there. Yeah. He was younger. Yeah, he was young. He was um, he, he went he went to school with C No Little Brother. Okay, and he called himself. He said DJ Screw gave him the plaque. Yeah, he was the freestyle king. Yeah. Did you did you witness that part of it, or did you is this something that you knew everybody knew this, or what? What is, explain that to me from your perspective? I mean, um, it was a black screw presented it to him, you know, and that's what it said, you know, that he was a freestyle king. Yeah, yeah, you know, so. We all feel like we freestyle kings. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. You know. Yeah, so it, it wasn't like you just, you know, uh, the perception of I'm crowning Lil Flip the freestyle king. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Everybody freestyle from Pokey, Key, ESG. Some hard you know niggas in there. Yeah. So, you know, everybody going to feel like you should feel like you're the hardest. You know you're the hardest, so, yeah. But him, like, presenting it to Flip, like, I just said, oh. He's just a freestyle king. Like, he's a rap harder than everybody. You know? See, yeah. I always wondered yeah, how so. he came up with that because everybody keep calling no, him No, no, this And so. ESG, he be like, yeah, he might be the year. Right, the well, I was going to get to that, you, you know, because we got to bring this in there. He did say that on my show. He said that Lil Flip is the freestyle king, but he's the freestyle god. And you was talking about how funny he is because <laughs> he's uh, he, he's yeah. funny. And he gave us a whole rap about the whole situation. He was there. He'd talk about that camera. He'd talk about her. He'd talk about you. I'm going I'm to tell you, like, a um, dude uh, from, the, from the hood named JR. Okay. And um, when he came out there from Louisiana, he'll tell you. Like, he'll tell you, he done said in plenty of interviews, man, I took E to school house the first time. You took him? Yeah. He, Willing. Willing. He'll tell you that. Like, yeah. But when he we met E, like, Cloverland Park was like a horseshoe come from Biden. It was like a dead end. It's open now, Scott. Yeah. It's open. But back then, it was a dead end. So we used to hustle on the block. We never hustled at the park. We'll go to the park probably at night. Just to smoke, drink, you know. Hang and, out. Um, like I say, we was kids. Of course. But we'll park our slabs on the basketball court. You know what I'm saying? Like, every, like that's what we was known for. Like, as kids, we all had these black slabs. That's hard. On everything, black and white. That's hard. Black, white inside. I'm talking about, I had an L dog. So, you know, they had a hard top river. Gator had the drop top river. Pepper had the pork. Dez had the 88, the 98. Ziggy had the 88. They all had the Tornado. And we was That's out. That's hard. Yeah, everybody calls us black and white. They, that set the trends for different hoods to paint their cars one color. Yeah. Biden and black. That we was known for. So y'all set that trend. Yeah. That's hard, man. Yeah. Yeah. And and and, did you, and, and yeah. I see I see you know I think about Slim when you said that yeah. how he paint all them cars one yeah, I mean, color. Slim got a hell of, hell of a collection. A hell of a collection. That nigga be that nigga stunt hard, man. That nigga yeah. him and Birdman <laughs> remind me each other what he be doing. No, he gonna bring them cars out. He gonna get in them. He gonna talk. Yeah. Love Slim, man. Love yeah, Slim. I, I, I fuck with Slim, man. Slim, um, he a real one, yeah. Yeah, man. So getting back to it though, when yeah, I saw, so, like I say, the ESG, the first day we met him. Yeah. yeah. So Jr. bring him to the park. This day we at the park out. So he he even tripping. He like man, these kids, man, what the fuck they do? <laughs> all these clean ass cars, you know? Cause we little, y'all little, but y'all got these we cars. We got to school in the morning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So 
That boy just jumped out, had them glasses on. That's when he was snapping the rapper. He got the glasses. Snapping the rapper. That nigga just free going off the dome, talking about the cars and everything. Like, the hell that nigga doing that shit, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Same way he did at our yeah. spot. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm like, okay. Yo, this little dude got something. Like, yeah. So. That's hard. Mm -hmm. And so that's what made you take him over there? Yeah, well, like, we, you know, we start kicking it because he was in the leans and shit. And one day, boom, let's go to Screw Eyes, man. Went to Screw Eyes. He'll tell you. He'll tell you yourself. So when he got over there, what did Screw think about him when he seen him? Shit, man. From that point, shit, he going over there by himself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, like, started, yeah. he, he started going over there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the introduction, that's all you needed was Screw. And if you're a real man, Screw going to rock with you. That's hard, man. Yeah. We'll lean, yeah. man. That, listen, man. Hey, man. That's hard, bro. So when you, okay. When I think about Lil Flip, I'm going right back to him. Yeah. I think of him as a branch out from coming from where y'all come from yeah. for y'all. Yeah. Look, I mean, so but, I but I'm telling but do you feel like, like, did, did he look at it that way? Yeah, because like uh, Flip. I know y'all and did all kind of stuff together too. I done seen him and the Botany Boys and all that together. Yeah, we on the road, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She you know took a liking to him, putting him on diamonds and mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. he used to be on the road with us. So, you know, everybody looked at Flip as a Botany Boy, you know what I'm saying? That's right, yeah. yeah you know, so um, that love was done, you know, still love. So, yeah. That's hard. Yeah. And the reason I say that, I just think about how he, you know, he flourished. Like, he was one of the first ones that really. You know, like got a major, like you know what I mean, a major situation to happen. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm gonna tell you something funny though. What's that? Uh, like we come back off the road, like I, you know me, I ain't got no kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was bachelor, you know what I'm saying? So we come off the road, like I couldn't keep Flip from like Flip. That was my little, you know, it was my home. I couldn't keep him from under me. He, he like with rocking me. with you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So all I used to do is like just sip me a little drink, smoke. Cereal and all, you know what I'm saying? And he gonna write all day. So the chick I was talking to at, at the time, <laughs> she she said one day, she like, uh, she like Flip gonna make it. I don't know about y'all. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. he, he focused. He yeah. focused. He didn't yeah, she, focus. Yeah, she like, that's all he do is sit in the house and write rap. Focus. He gonna make it. I'm like, girl, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga real serious about it, babe. You know what I'm saying? And you could tell that he was a young, but he yeah. it, it was a branch off. Like I say, you got to have a springboard when it come through. Like y'all yeah. came up first. So at the end of the day, you that's a that's that's a lot, bro. Yeah. A lot you of know, people don't understand structure, bro. And then, you know, a lot of a lot of politics played the part because, like I say, we were still in the streets doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? Like. You'll fuck around here on the radio and shit, watch the news on night like, yeah, something happened on Biden, you know what I'm saying? Like that. So we had the love at the rate at the same, like, you know, they was playing our music. But uh when them Jake started calling, like, they, you know, a lot of people got amnesia, like Biden boy who? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you know, was, but we really wasn't never just, you know, the ones out here trying to rock and get a deal, get a deal, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, and um, you know, that's why you hear a lot of interviews, you hear about Biden, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we helped a lot of artists, like, you know what I'm saying? And, but we don't ask for them accolades, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, it's the pass on the back, none of that. It, bro, you know it's what understood. Saying? So, yeah, you know, so you still that same humble dude that you uh, met back then, you know what I'm saying? How was, how was uh, Fat Pat and Hall, you know, RIP to both of them brothers, uh, how was, how was Fat Pat? Oh, Fat Pat. Cool, silly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same type, you know. Yeah, and, and Hawk, same way. Same you know way. What I'm yeah, yeah. Because, you know, Hawk, you know, he really went to college, had a degree. You know, him and my mom worked at American Gym, like a big insurance company place. Out That's here. hard. You know, my mom retired from that, but Hawk worked there too. Hawk worked there? Yeah, he worked with my mom, worked at American General Insurance, yeah, out Fallon yeah. Parkway. Yeah, they. So they yeah, both so were just good dudes, good genuine yeah. dudes, man. Yeah, yeah, they, they so both. where was you at when you when you had heard about uh, Fat Pat? How old was you then? Um, when he when he had got killed down in Austin. Nah, that was here. No, I mean here, yeah. Yeah, and uh, and, and ironic what it was. Ironic had he just come from Austin, or he used to go to Austin all yeah. the time? Yeah, he used to go. We always go out there. Y'all love Austin. Austin like a little baby Houston. Oh, I know. I, I know y'all down. They let you influence yeah. the hell out of that and East Texas, to be honest with you. Yeah, East Texas. Y'all influenced the hell out of it. Yeah. And, uh, but the day Pat died, crazy because my mom, 
we was at the car wash. Me, see, you know, my partner, my partner, D Baby RP, and we was at the car wash, and my mom had um had beat me. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, back then you get a beat, nigga. Nine one one. I called her back, and she was like, one. um, yeah, nine one one. Nine one one. She was like, um, she was like John. I she was like John at the um up here at the job, and you know, I think something happened to his brother. You know, my mom the one told me that. Really? She yeah. told you that, that that day? Yeah, so that's when I got the phone. I said no. I was like, hey, um, and my mama, she like, I was upset at the, at the, at the, um, at the job, thinking something happened to Pat. And, uh, yeah, and that's what had happened. That's what had happened. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was down there, but no, it was here. It was here. Yeah. So, I mean, did, I mean, did, did they ever, they knew who done it and all that, or, or was a shadow the thing you like know, everything was, else? Um, you know, it was, you know, you hear a bunch of you hear stories, a bunch of stories. You know so, um, you know, just in the air, you know, what I'm saying? in the air. It's the so, same as like Paco, all yeah. this other stuff is just like a, sh a, a a foggy place. Yeah, but you know, it be stemmed around hate. Yeah, cause a nigga be on the verge and be popping out here. Yeah, that's you know everything. That's why they say. Good die young and these whole ass nigga live forever, mm. man. Man, ain't that crazy? What about sorry, man. What, what about uh? uh they sort of said that in the movie last night. Yeah. Oh, what man. about Hulk, man? Like, like when he yeah. died, and, and, you and know, that, that's another one. Just in the hell, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Unsolved mystery or something, you know. But where was you at that day? I like to go back and just think of. I was locked up. You were locked up. And I was locked up. You heard about it? You couldn't believe man, it. I'm, no, I, early in the morning, them boys. Come, you know how them boys get up and drink coffee or Yeah, 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 yeah. I hot tidy. Man, them boys you know, come up. We put some cool off in it. Boys cop. Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, we're Hey, they say how do I'm like, what? Yeah, and then that weekend, uh, my sister came and see me. She came me. to see you. And mm. she would let, let me know. I'm like, damn. Damn. Yeah, just crazy, yeah. man. And, 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 and this is the stuff that that really make you think about stuff like, damn, man, like you can't believe this stuff happening like this and you got all these, and and so when you think about people that be talking about rappers and this ain't happening and they ain't, they ain't never seen it like that, I don't be, I, I be thinking back on stuff like that. It has happened. It, yeah. it, it's it been See, a thing. It just like, even back in the day, before the uh, social media, somebody get killed, if you wasn't in that, 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 that circle, that, that, um, you know, of uh, information, you probably hear that shit next week. On yeah. Such and such, you know what I'm saying? But social media, like, right now. Got to direct the consumer, don't it? Right, right now. Somebody get knocked out right now. It just happened five minutes ago. You know what I'm Nigga saying? Nigga got like, that phone up. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, man, this is just, it was, I don't say it wasn't was no different the same things were happening, but the information wasn't just out there. Traveling that fast. That quick, yeah. What you think about that? It's just sad the way how yeah. everything unfolded. And the, the way the things are now, the way that that you can see it, like you see, not only you you see the the you see everything about it, you see the the the, the you see everything. On that, and people gonna say, man, why are they sitting there recording? You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up the way they sit there recording. But then if, if you don't see, I know somebody had a phone out there. Why they recording? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> this this information is it's it's, crazy, ain't it? Yeah, so you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. You know, man. So, so uh, to go back a little bit, like Bun B, man, what does it mean when you see him now, and and you see he ain't with, you know, of course, Pimp C is, yeah. is passed on to see Bun B, and he he a professor sometimes, and and he's doing strides. He got trio burgers. What what do you think about that? Because you go way back with Bun B. Yeah, man. I just you know, hey, congrat congratulate him. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that's a big. Yeah, you got the hottest number one burger in the country. Have you tasted oh, it yet? Huh? You Have got you one? tasted it yet? No. Me neither. No. I ain't tasted it yet. But um, he came, you know, they came to him and Marshawn Lynch came to the screw shop. They did? Yeah, you know, like two weeks ago, you know, he got a um he got a he got a show on um, ESPN, you know, on, on Prime. Yeah. You know, they got Thursday night football on Prime. So yeah. Marshawn Lynch got a show called uh Out Script. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, the week that we played Philadelphia, the week of the World Series, uh, Philadelphia, Texas and Philadelphia played while we was playing um, Astros and, and the Phillies. But um, the week prior, like, uh, Bob called me, like, hey, man, ESPN going to be up there with Bond and Mark Marshawn Lynch. He wanted to do his interview up there. But, uh, and that's where he did it. That's where he did it, yeah. He came up there. 
The dude crazy, man. Why you say that? Hey, man, he, he one of us, man. I, I love I love him to death, man. More Sean Lynch, man. You know I mean? he, he, he one of y'all. He, he solid, man. He, you know. And, um, you know, he come in, you know. Oh, he did, the, you know, the interviews, you know, with my side. He come in, you know, give him a little history on the tapes, you know That's what I'm saying? And uh, tell him, like, you know, because the West, he, he from Oakland. Yeah. You know, um, oh, the West Coast had a big influence on Screw. Yeah. He loved the West Coast, you know. Yeah. Seabo's school favorite artist. Wow. Yeah. That's why most of the school mixes, man, like West Coast. He loved West Coast. He loved West Coast. Yeah. And uh, I was telling him, like, how to, I told him, like, you know, if he were back when school was alive, you would have did a mix and screw. And he was selling your dub, he'll be up there on him. Mm -hmm. That's he'll be all. Marshall and screw. Marshall, whatever you want to call it, Oakland and Houston. He he'll gonna put it up, up there. there. Mm -hmm. He'll be up there right now. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? I like you like George Floyd and screw. He like George Floyd. I'm like yeah. He like, well, like yeah. You know, he part of screw to play like George Floyd. He what? Yeah, I don't. He, he like on six screw tapes. He George Floyd. Yeah. I heard that. And 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 you did you ever meet him when he was coming over there? Yeah, like George the homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> When that happened to him, what? Because yeah, it was the, crazy. It was like it. It happened, and now you know you scroll on. You didn't. You could. Like what? I ain't even. Not, I ain't even like. You ain't put two into together. No, that I said, that? damn, that's crazy. And still, I saw people like, damn. I'm like, yo, that big George, boom, and that George, like, yeah. So, like, damn. To know somebody that got that went that changed a lot of dynamics. Mm -hmm. Whether people want to, a lot of people be playing with it and they go, oh, it didn't change nothing. No, no it, it changed the dynamics in a lot of ways in this country Cause people and in other countries. Big Cause change people right away. When something yeah. like that happened and people go marching and doing their thing, they want to see the law change. They want to see it written down. They want to see action. They want to see all of that right now, but they don't realize sometimes it's a chain reaction of things that cause this change later on. It might come 20 years later on, but... It was because of this why it happened. No, that's real. So I it messed me up. You talking about George Floyd? George Floyd was, hey man, he everybody know his name. Everybody know like yeah. like it changed history, and I hate that happened the way it did. And and you you definitely can't bring him back. But it was like he was a sacrifice mm -hmm. for trying to a for modern. change. To be mm -hmm. honest with you, like, yeah. what do you say? Just can't say nothing, man. Just, you know, try to keep his name alive and pray for his family, man. That's real. I, the sister yeah. was at the premiere the uh, other night. Yeah. She was there at the one. With, you was there when, when yeah. I was there. Yeah, I, I went to the 7 o'clock one. Yeah, yeah, we that's, yeah, she was there, too. Because yeah. Yeah, uh, 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 chairman, it was either chairman or either Larry who one of them pointed out to mm -hmm. me. Yeah. You know, it's just, what do you think about the, the, the man? Cottonmouth told me he used to come down there. Did you ever get to meet Cottonmouth out of, out of Dallas? Mm, not personally. Didn't not personally meet him, but he said he used to come to that screw to the yeah, shop. I believe, yeah. Uh, he, he just drew people from everywhere, man, even when he was here? Even when he was here, man. Like, there's another story I got with, um, I don't know if, no, Big big Lump. Big Lump from here he used to promote. Okay. He was a promoter out here, and uh, Mac 10 was out here. Mac 10? Yeah, so um, they were staying at the, um, with the Embassy Suites. Okay, that's my, my favorite, one of my, my favorite, gallery. one of my favorite you know, spots. You no, know, MBC Suites are all made the same. Like, you walk mm, in and stuff. They're all the same. Yeah, you yeah, that's, what, that's where I be you at. Can, you can look down, yeah. see you in the lobby, you know. Yeah, so, that's where I be. So it was um, me, Screw, his cousin, Shorty Mac. Okay. And, and Lil Third uh, for Biden. Biden yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Third. So we went to, uh, we went, went to meet him at the hotel. You know, Lump Kyle told Screw that Mac 10 wanted to meet him. Mm -hmm. So we get to the hotel. We in Screw and Pollard, the Blue and Pollard. Yeah, right? yeah. So we get to the hotel. So, um, you know, Screw called Lump. He was like, hey, man, yeah, we downstairs. So I'm saying, like, hey, I had to make a run around the corner. I'll be back. You know, so I'm like, all right, cool. So Screw, like, man, I'm finna go in there and give me a cup of ice. So he got out the car. He went in the hotel in the lobby, got, got him a cup of ice. And came back, got in the car. So when he got back in the car, he like, well, he like, man. He said, I, I was in there, man, some dudes. They was up, like, probably, like, third or fourth floor. But like I said, you can look down. Yeah. So he said, he heard him saying, like, hey, hey, talking to some people that was down there on the first floor, you know. And uh, he, was, he was like, hey, who, who was that? Who was that? You know what I'm saying? That was, they was asking some, some of their people that was on 
downstairs, you know, with flip. I mean, uh, with screw when ain't got the ice. So I was like, for real? You're like, yeah. So now you <coughs> see like three niggas come out the hotel. You know what I'm saying? They looking at us. We see we in this blowing pot and shit. So they go to a trunk, pop the trunk, get some t-shirts out while back in the hotel. So uh, about two minutes later, Lump called in the phone. He like, hey, screw, what's up? He like, man, you, you downstairs? He like, yeah. He said, you in the parlor, blowing parlor. He like, yeah. He said, oh, man, let me call Mac 10 them back. He say Mac 10 called him, talking about, hey, no, man, there's four niggas, four deep in the blowing parlor downstairs right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> they make y'all out there for that smoke. Yeah, so he like, let me call and tell them, boy, that's you. You know what I'm saying? So he called him, man, and shit, Mac 10, all them came down there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, hung out you know, with y'all. Yeah, man, it was, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. What's yeah. that? And, and so, uh, what, and that made screw. And y'all, y'all felt good about the West Coast because yeah. West Coast was hot back then. Yeah, they was hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, like you know, no Mac Ten. You know them they Pyro. You know. What yeah, I'm yeah, saying? yeah. So, they Pyro. So, uh, yeah, you know we ain't game. You know what I'm saying? None no. of that. So, but just the fact of. Niggas fall deep in the blue and power. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. So they, they, they come down, man. You know, they thinking it's something really crazy going yeah, down, you know, but it really ain't really just niggas hanging out. Yeah, cause y'all let ass the nigga to come through there, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They asked him to come through there. They asked Screw to come through there. You know, can't chop it up, man. It was cool. You know, they just wanted to meet Screw. That's hard. That's yeah. hard. Like though, in those stories, you got those stories for days because you and him was right there together, man. Yeah, man. Me and Screw did a lot. You know, Screw had Screw had a personal relationship, man, with like a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people can tell you just as many stories as I can with Screw. You know because he was that type of dude that going, type of dude, he yeah. was going he was gonna pretty much put himself in situations to 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 be a part of what you know what anybody was trying to accomplish. Uh there and and he didn't mind including people in his successes nah, either. Nah, you know, he wasn't he wasn't selfish. That's hard. Like at all. Like I said, man, Screw could have put a blank contract in front of anybody, man. They done. Cause you know you're gonna have your best interest. You know That's what, what look Kiki, look Kiki said he didn't. Man, we weren't thinking about no money, no yeah. tapes, none of that. We just was having fun, really, yeah. pretty much. Just kids over there. Just kids fun. having fun. You know, then he seen the part like, man, he really ain't making some money. Out. You know what I'm saying? Like, screw gave everybody careers, like right now to the day. That's hard, ain't you it? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can we can do a show and perform a song from 2000 down, not 2000 up. You know what I'm saying? From the year 2000 down. You know what I'm saying? It's still rock and show, like. Wow. Did, crazy. Uh, did Scar, Scarface, did he have a relationship with, like, rock with Screw? With screw? Yeah, yeah. He had a relationship with him. Okay, yeah. cause I don't. I, I got to go check out those stories, because I don't really, I, I got to go back and see, because I know they, they was before. Scarface name was early in the game, yeah. you know? So when Screw came around, that would have, that would that was like dang that's another different a different phase of the yeah. uh, of the way the whole thing rolling you know what I mean and then not only that like I said there's phases you you got D-Rec, you got all these different phases yeah. down here with Big yeah. Mo and them and like you know before Screw you had your Dale Scott okay you know yeah what I'm saying? yeah Dale Scott you know he was like you know just as hot as Screw you know in his era you know everybody <laughs> had had Dale Scott you know what I'm saying that's hard yeah so in our era you know Screw the screw. Yeah, so you know, even when we started with the music, like screw was like, you know, if the radio wanna play it, I mean, use me, I'm the radio. Yeah. You rather hear your song on the screw tape than on the radio, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't going on. Yeah, he go hard. Every nigga wanna do wanna do the have some screw. I listen to it and I pray listen to it. I got cause that bass hit different on that screw, man. See then the but well, what people ain't know, like screw, he'll tease you, you know what I'm saying? Like He'll play a song and the song will be fading out. And he'll just be playing the instrumental, but he'll be mixing another song in at the same time. And you'll be thinking, like, damn, what song are we finna drop? It's on the tip of your tongue, but you can't. You don't know yet. You don't know until when it drop, you're like, oh. Uh, that's hard the way he brought that. So he brought that O in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he kept you guessing all the time. How do you think? That's what I'm saying. Like, tra hey, Travis Scott again, like, dude, this movie. Yeah. It's going to have to come on with it, man. Yeah, they, they going to come on. I, I feel like the way it's going, you know what I'm saying, they go through the proper channels, man. I think it probably, it'll be a success, you know. I sure hope so, How long man. before yeah. it comes out, though? They got to put everything yeah, together. They, they ain't even started, you know. They ain't started. They just figured out who, you know, who's going to have rights to right, it. Right, I saw that online. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, it's still up in the air, but, you know, they say Sony, you know what I'm saying, so they. 
long as they put the right people and ask yeah. the right people the right questions to get the story right. Hopefully, twenty twenty three to be out sometime next year. Yeah, yeah. Shit. I hope so, man. It was like, up to me. I'll be like Kyle Fifty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't think we be doing that. Him, bro. We love Fifty Cent, man. <laughs> because he does good work. We love Fifty Cent, bro. Niggas, done, hey, he, he move that. down here. I think he can move yeah, down here. This is he got a place this. down here. This is man, we love Fifty yeah. Cent, man. I ain't gonna lie. Have man. you met him? Huh? Have you met him? No, nah, man, I met Fifty back in '03. Dang, and that long ago? Yeah, me and Flip, we was in Dallas for the Rock the Mic tour, and um, we was fucking with Buck, and um, he came up in Buck Room. Before the uh, for the the concert that night, Damn. and uh, we went to the concert with him. We were and he about flip out on stage and shit like, yeah. Did yeah. he seem like that back he then? Wasn't, he wasn't the same. He was uh, Was he like a businessman back then? No, or back then he was because I ain't gonna lie. He um, you know, you man, them niggas crazy like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 50 wild, man, but he, he cool dude. What happened? You um, you about to start some and then you stop? No, nah, um, this is nothing but. When they got off stage, you know, you go back to your green room. They had a big screen of the of the concert. You yeah, know? yeah. You know, and uh, and Jigga came out and he had on some Jordans. And uh, people were like, oh, he's been a party, because you know, Fifty had the Reebok and Jay had. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. The um, the Reebok did. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. He, yeah, but he had on his Jays and shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. It, 50, yeah. but 50 still the same 50. Yeah, nah, yeah he, he's, hey, from the day I met him, what I see right now, like, the same 50. The same dude. But I never think he came hard with these movies like this, man. Like, and he's, he's like, when I say movies, these, the document series, like, the, he, he just the, the, the premiere, the, the, the like, stars thing going down. So, like, he, he, boom, dropped BML first series. So, right now, he doing the BML series documentary leading up yeah. to the BML season two, two. Premiere, premiere. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the dude, hey, man. Ghost, Raising Cane. Raising Cane. Oh, yeah. That nigga, I'm tuned with in. it. I'm tuned in and everything. And I think he's about him some man. He's thinking about him some man out there. He's like from the bring Hollywood to Houston, man. Man, I sure hope he do. Yeah, so. You haven't you haven't seen him since he's been here, though? No. I ain't seen him since he's been here. Then they got to pull. Hey, look here. Hey, 50, you need to pull up to the screw shop, man. Yeah, yeah, Stop you playing. You got to come to the screw you shop. You got to come hey, to man. the screw shop, nigga. I you think got- I need to hit him from the screw page. Say, hey, man, you got to pull up to the shop. Shop. Man. Hell yeah. Because you know, I know he, um, they having something. The um guy I think Wednesday, uh, cause you know you got the side spirits and yeah in the rock in the Toyota Center. Oh, okay, I didn't. Yeah, know. like all this um is alcohols with Texans, the Astros, and the uh, Rockets. Wow. Yeah, so they doing he got a uh, side of spirit lounge mm. club mm. in the Toyota mm. Center. So he he think it's Wednesday. I think the day before um Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just seen it on his page earlier today. So you gonna wow. go? I might. I might because we go. go the family we going on uh, to Austin. Okay, for Thanksgiving. No, nah, we coming back. We just going out there. <laughs> we just me, my sisters, my niece, and us, you know, just my mom, we just yeah. gonna go out there and, mm-hmm. and kick it like for a couple of days, come back um day before Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. You, yeah, you knew it was coming. That's why I looked over there at you when I looked over there. I said, Yeah, nigga, like, get ready. Yeah. Number one. Number one. Hey, I heard um, Propane say, no, nah, hey, Noah's my favorite rapper, man. I, I ain't gonna eat a lot of life. Yours too? Yeah, man. I, I, yeah. What the hell y'all been? Wait a minute. Man, we man. in Houston, man. It's like, I like Nas. Nas hard, though. Nas hard, like the hard son, man. That's still Matic, man. You, me, that you, album, like, that, man. you like that? You like that? Who shot you? Who's, huh? <laughs> that song, Who Shot You? Yeah. That was hard. Look, hey. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah made you look. Made you look. Hey, um, yeah. And I got no pro, like, because on um, what they ride and slab, pro got a um a song on that they rap backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that that Nas no, rewind. He like you know he saying? like he like that Nas too. Yeah, and that's why. Man, shout out to Pro Pay, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, pro hard, man. Ain't, ain't gonna lie, man. Pro, he one of my he one of my H time faves. You know. What really? Saying? If you didn't tell ask me like my top H time, like yeah, he in there. He in there. Pro in there. But Nas your number one on earth. Yeah, no. Any genre. Yeah, any genre. I, 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 wow, wow, number man. two. Number two, man. I um. Not that wild the home. Number two. Say face, man. 
Yeah, because no mm-hmm. face you know, to all this See, that's living. exactly right. what I said you know what earlier. Like, you know, all this rap like, alive. You from Texas? Yeah. You to you me, I don't know. You gonna go get? You go get Nas? I'm I'm gonna get face, nigga. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Well, Lee, so, I'm going to get face, nigga. You know, I, listen, you already know the truth. Like, you, when he go in there, when he come out, he coming out hot. Oh, yeah. But I want to know, why is Nas your number one and then you put faces too? Like, what I is he? I just told him what I'm going to do. Well, I know what you do, I'm but I'm not asking him. Asking me because, like, me being an artist myself. I'm okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like Nas style, the way he rapping his metaphors and his storytelling. I'm on the same thing. I storytelling? Like Don't you say storytelling. You talk about face, <laughs> nigga. Face tell some stories. No, no. Face hard on your stories, man. But hey, hey, man, this is my opinion. <laughs> my you know top saying, three. Man? You know, so, uh, yeah, man. I, I'm like, yeah. And, man. and I'm going to tell you what just made me just really, you know, like to do music. Like, when I, when you an artist, and you could just like put everything out, even talk about yourself, like yeah, you put yourself out there. I'm like, okay, yeah, he he know what doing. Boy, yeah, yeah. What about uh, your number three? Yeah, I'm about to say What's number up? three. <laughs> Give it up. Number three, man. Uh, Y'all might think I'm tripping. Oh no, I ain't gonna think you're tripping. If you say Erica Badu, I'm cool with it. If you nah, say it's Beyonce, a female, say, but it's a, I'm cool with it. Whichever uh, one you say. If you say hey, uh, it's a female man, but y'all gonna be like oh, Lauren Hill. Nah, man, Nita Baker, man. Hey, that's my nigga. <laughs> hey, that's what I say. Do what I say. What I say. I'm telling you, man. Hey, man, man, you can put her on and ride. But Sorry, people man. don't realize. Like I sleep to that. Hey, she man. all right. Oh, you crazy, Nita, man. I think it's a more. Uh, you know that the young kid, the fat man. Like I like him, man. What? What's your favorite song? Huh? What's your favorite song from Anita? I swung with baby face on my man. Nah, man, giving you the best that I got. Nah, 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 nah. Stop playing, man. Nah, 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 now, old oh, man, listen, you know they say Jordan used to listen to that before he go out there and play them niggas. I'm man. Talking, man, I'm gonna play. Yeah, that's what they say. They say Michael Jordan used to play, giving you the best that I got. Man, you see, I'm man, before my, he go out there. My playlist, man. Hey, say, yeah, that's my girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, yeah, I never, heard, top yeah, three. Right, I never heard that in the top. Now, nah, have we not heard that one? Anita yeah. Baker, I can't remember. We, we had that man. One. I, I love Anita Baker, man. <laughs> now, Patty though, Patty hard yeah, dog. Patty hard. I like Patty, Patty better. Them, them damn. Go get me. I'm going to get that sweet potato pie tomorrow. Man, I, I, mean, I, mean, I got to get that. We got to get it for the thing. I met Patty in the airport. What? I met Patty in the building. She was making them pies then? Nah, she wasn't making them then. Damn. But this way, she was making it, but she wasn't making it for the public yet. Oh, yeah, she, yeah you're right. Yeah, the pie's good. 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 I go get them. Yeah. You don't never ate one? Yeah, I did. What I you think about it? They cool. I like them. Like to be just something you put in the oven or something right quick. That's hard, man. Now don't get me wrong, I love the homemade, you, you know, the most when my baby cook them over here. She gonna cook a nigga a, a, a sweet potato pie every now and then. Jamaica style. You? I come from a cooking family, man. Oh, you cook? Oh yeah, I cook. I cook too. What's you your know? what's your meal? What's what's man, that one that you gonna throw down man, on? I don't even got one, but I I'm talking about gravy from scratch, man. Gravy, favorite, man. I'm I can cook. What I you using? Two. Water and a little flour and some old man, grease. Yeah, a little water, flour, and grease. I don't need no ground packs. The McCormick's out the store. None of that. that. Yeah, put some salt and pepper in there too. Oh yeah, you, come on, you see? You, <laughs> you put onion in there too, don't you? Yeah, I like real don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. But so, like, Man, like I said, I come from, from a cooking from, from my, my sisters, my cook. Like, right now, I mean, we get all I can call one of them, and they'll be on some, like, well, I just made my car note. I'm finna find some fish and shrimp. Just give them a reason just to cook this every day. Man, I wish I'd come over to your house. Nah. And your sister, Neil, they they gonna bounce around my sister, my niece, my niece, my sister. Man, I wish I could come over there and grab me something to eat, man. And, and, and them bulb of the city and tell you, like, hey, man, what your sister them cook today? Like, he, just, <laughs> he gonna ask you, right, what y'all supposed to cook today? That's hood. Boy, that's country. Yeah, I love it. Man, they, they, they go hard. Like, I'm telling you, man, when I get up and call one of them, I'm like, hey. And they gonna say something about cooking. Tomorrow it's going down. Nah, right now. Tonight? Tonight. Damn, I'm, that's good. Tonight, gonna be now, my grandma was like that. I no, know it's real. No, no, that's be, country. They gonna, gonna be playing Domino Hummer. Or they gonna be playing Domino. Yeah, two deep or three and whoever they're, they gonna be either one of my house from these houses. Like yesterday, 
Shrimp? No, the, um, I woke up to some chicken. All right, let me I say this right now. Right. I got to say this. <laughs> Carlos Miller. Stop playing, nigga. These country niggas know what we doing over here in Texas. I don't know what y'all doing in Mississippi, nigga. But don't get it twisted. Over here, we playing dominoes, cooking yeah. fish, maybe some chicken, nigga. And, and guess what, nigga? We can't see nothing in front of our face. Dog, nigga. So don't come down there playing. Yeah. The, <laughs> the night of the, the premiere. Now, Kyle, my, um, my, my, my niece's husband, my nephew, and uh, he like, man, he like, you know, he, he um, propane, he, propane look good. He okay. Pro. So he like, I'm like, what y'all there, man? And they over there cooking fish and shrimp. I said, I'll be by now. But that's the premiere. I got up out of there, boom. <laughs> Jumped in the car, rolled over there. They had fish and all and fries and a, some beef stew in the pot. And you wow. just sitting there eating. What, man? We ain't over there killing it, man. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Look, I went home. You know, we fishing. came over here. We should have followed him. We should have uh, followed him. Yeah. And I didn't know him at the time. I'd have been like, man, Willie, you man, see, you, we didn't know. But I'm telling you right now, Willie, yeah, when that? Mr. Maker and E come back up here, oh, y'all good. Come yeah, I'm going to call you. you. Thanksgiving, like, okay. Yeah, a big tail. Every, look, look, everybody cook. Everybody household cook. But we going to end up somewhere. Everybody so, carry the food. Everybody going to cook. Everybody going to have a meal at their home. That's. But they gonna take some, and I think we we have my mom's house this year. But everybody go. gonna cook at home. Like they gonna have their own spread at the house. Mm -hmm. Gonna be at my mom's house, like y'all. That's yeah. hard, man. Yeah. You you blessed to even be. You know, I lost my mom, and we got we got my wife's mom. But yeah. at the end of the day, man, cherish it, oh, cherish yeah. it, brother. Closest thing I got to go. You feel me, man? Yeah. Say, man, thank you for coming on the show. Right. We love you, man. Real talk. Don't get. Hey, don't forget about us, man. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, nah. y'all come back, man. I got do that, do that for you. And if you come to I'm Dallas, you got to come by my spot. Oh, really? I'm coming, man. And and, and hey, man, hey, man, thank you for doing the show. Yeah. I know it was last minute, like I told you when we started. You came over here. You showed Boss Talk 101 love, yeah. man, and yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Oh, really, man. Man, check it. It's been another great segment. Another one. Yeah, man. If you want oh, boss talk one on one, if you want style. what, you want to find me on social media. I thought we said that. Nah, we didn't what? Say that. I didn't get too many else. damn interviews today. <laughs> yeah, man. Willing, tell them where to find you at. Willing, S U C on everything. Willing, S U C on everything. everything. Instagram, and YouTube. We plug it. TikTok. Huh? We plug it. Make sure y'all follow Boss Talk One Hundred One too. Boss Talk One Hundred One. That's what it is, man. Boss Talk. Man, man what? Who, who that rapping on the intro? XO Music XO from Music. East Texas. She from oh. Longview. Okay. It's a girl from Longview named XO Music. Okay. She yeah. got a song with B King as well. Okay. And, and but but if you if you ever go look up, you go see. Hey, that's so, that. Yeah. That's that. That's that. A. Hey. I like your music, man. You said you like you remember that. Yeah, yeah. You like yeah. who is everybody else? I think chose that's the same thing. People be like, who call that's the same. Everybody else like, who is that? Yeah. Because she did a hell of an intro. Yeah, and, and I did it because she did that ain't the first. She did another one before me. She be cause she gonna hook me up with them intros. Oh yeah, man. Then I got a shout out, man, to screwed up records and tapes, man. Let's talk about yeah, it. Screw the, screw the record and take. Can we come over there and do a segment over there? What? We can do it right like we do boss talk. I can bring us. I can we bring us. Said we do it right in front of each, whatever mirror you want to do in the front of. That's all. To the shop. I ain't been in a. I ain't, you know what? They we been long. I know. I went a long time ago. Man, they really I need to come like, back over there. Nice. I need to sit boss talk up there. That's what I need to do. Yeah. That's what I need to do, man. Hey, man. We hey, we straight up in Houston, Texas. Hey, we love the whole vibe. Listen, man, forget about everything else, man. <laughs> Just focus on Boss Talk 101, man. Yeah. Screw shop and everything else. Will Lean popped up in the building. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of yeah. Boss Talk 101. Her boss is talking real. What? Come on.